Dr. Chimsey. Ooh, ooh, Dr. Chimsey. I just read your essay on men's behavior today. And men are great. Like a hole in the head. I used to get such comfort wrapped in the arms of males, but now I find that less than 60% go for a frail. I used to think my lover knew some fine, fancy tricks, but according to Kinsey's data, he's strictly from the sticks. Ooh, ooh, Dr. Kinsey. Look what you've done to me. Since I've read your report, I'm disillusioned as can be. Now, if he's timid around the girls, but around the boys, he's so sporty. His history is no mystery. It's on page 240. No wonder Bill was so restrained and kissed me with such poise. When I asked him where he'd been, he'd say, oh, out with the boys. Hey, hey, Dr. Kinsey. Here's thanks to you from me. Now you've taught me what a fool I used to be. Now Kinsey met a man who got his kicks sticking his mother's sharp hat pins into fine little chicks. And when it was all over, this man would laugh with glee and say, I did it to you, now you do it to me. Woo woo, Dr. Kinsey, look what you've done to me. Now you've taught me how bad a good man can be. Well, ladies, that's the end of my little book review. But there's just one thing more that I want to tell you. Now, if someone knocks at your door, you better take care. Hide under the bed, play dead, get lost. But beware, cause Dr. Kinsey's working on a brand new thesis. And this one's all about the female of the species. There's no doubt that he'll find out what you did 